Microsoft's shift to the cloud is a lesson in corporate evolution. We tend to take the cloud for granted today as a way of delivering and building software, but it wasn't always the case. Less than a decade ago, in fact, companies like Microsoft sold most of their software in boxes or in large on-prem installations inside customer data centers. Around 2012, as the company began thinking about what the future of computing might look like, it became clear that software would eventually move to the cloud. It's important to remember that in those days, whether we were talking Office or SharePoint, the company's content management system, the software was developed over long multi-i cycles and delivered as one massive change. He was at Microsoft during the company's transition to the cloud, and we talked about what was involved in making such a huge shift and how the company convinced often reluctant customers that the cloud was the way to go. When we first started thinking about making a transition from our previous model to the cloud, we of course had those conversations with customers, and they'll never forget customers saying, no way, don't go chase that.